All right, guys, we made it to the main chow main here. Devil's Garden, 7.2 mile loop. A lot of people here, but I don't think they're all going uh, the whole loop. Just talked to the ranger standing out there at the entrance, warning people, and uh, he says the whole loop takes about four hours. So we're gonna try and beat that. We're three minutes in, I started it at the car, so. Let's see, try to be done by sunset here. All right guys, the further and further I go, the crowds start thinning out. nice peace and quiet so that right there is the biggest arch i've seen today so it's probably like the main one everyone comes in sees and then they head back but i'm gonna go do the whole loop so let's go All right, I am out here, guys. I love the solitude, though. No cell phone service. Um, I was trying to activate my All Trails app and get this trail on my phone so I can have it offline, but I haven't had service in a while and I didn't really research the trails too much. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. So the only thing, worst comes to worst, is I do have the GPS on my watch. So if I do feel like I get lost or it's starting to get dark on me, I'll just uh, <clears throat> reverse my GPS and have it take me back the way I came. But uh, we're not hoping for that. We're hoping for a smooth loop around this hole. Um, Devil's Garden, as they call it. All right, so this is where the trail gets tricky here. You gotta have, gotta have some kind of uh, minor navigating skills. Um, I guess this is a little bit of scrambling they talk about, but uh, that's my specialty, scrambling, so. This is cool. This is my first my first shaded spot. So um, we're about two miles, 2.2. Um, I've only seen two couples and a little group of four. Ooh, check it out guys. This is actually part of the trail, which is really nice. Cause it's a tiny bit of a sketchy little cliff here for anyone else hey you know shout out to the uh, Scarpa approach shoes but uh yeah this is pretty cool like not a lot of people would come up this yeah definitely so looks like I'm making good time not gonna get ahead of myself huh? and then we'll keep coming across these cairns here they, these little stacks of rocks they mark the trail all right guys we made it halfway we're going to private arch um about halfway there now this little private arch is about 0.6 a little more than half a mile detour so go check that out real quick
Right on, brother. <laughs> Sweet. All right, we made it to one of the last junctions. Bunch of sand. Angel Arc half mile. Trailhead two miles. All right, now I'm starting to feel a little tired. Whew, super nice. We got two and a half miles back to the trailhead. So let's do it. Well guys, I'll tell you what. I definitely brushed up on my navigation skills because, and if you don't know what you're doing out here, you will get lost and you will never get found. It's a lot of sections back there where there's no uh, cairns. There's no stacks of rocks to kind of guide you. And you really have to go off your instinct to, um, you know, follow footsteps and, but uh, yeah, that was fun. I did get lost maybe three or four times, but uh, you know, I always just stop, come back where I came from and uh, try and figure it out. But uh, big man upstairs always takes care of me and uh, everything always turns out perfect. This is called Rock Fin. You kind of got to walk on it. It is a trail, so. And I walk. I walked. I can't even speak anymore. I walked all the way around. Pretty sick. Finish. This is a. Uh, Straight to the finish line here. Home stretch. Alright guys, almost there. Pretty much done. A little tired, but if it was any hotter, um, I'd definitely be tired. Uh, it wasn't too, too bad. Maybe like below 90 for sure pretty nice in the shade Get a little breeze here and there but uh yeah super nice all right made it devil's garden here at arches national park the biggest hike in the park uh good time here i did uh two hours and 39 minutes it was uh, seven miles and uh, yeah, super fun guys.